You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And today I want to talk to you about some sad stuff, actually. These are some real life tragedies of YNR actors and actresses, people that have lost people close to them, people that have themselves suffered a significant tragedy or major medical crisis. We have so much to talk about. I love behind the scenes stuff and I hope you guys enjoy this. Before I dig into all this, please click subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's talk Talk about it. Let me tell you about these real life tragedies. Christian LeBlanc is first. He, of course, plays Michael Baldwin. His mother died of cancer. His brother died of AIDS. And Christian had cancer, too. So the Michael Baldwin actor lost two family members to disease, his mother and his brother. And he talked about both losses when he was on Maurice Bernard's State of Mind podcast. Christian LeBlanc's mother, Alice LeBlanc, passed away about 20 years ago in 2003 from cancer. And he admitted that losing his mom caused some mental health issues and said he got into therapy to address them. And he talked about the sense of shame that many people have about admitting mental health concerns and how he wished it wasn't that way. And the actor lost one of his seven siblings to disease too. Christian LeBlanc said one of his brothers died from AIDS-related complications, and he said he thinks the government killed his brother because of the way the disease was once treated and was considered to be, and this is a quote from him, the result of a moral failing. I mean, that's so sad and awful. I just, that kind of loss. So in addition to his mother and brother's illnesses, Christian LeBlanc himself had cancer in 2023. He admitted that he had been diagnosed after fans noticed he'd been missing in action from YNR for a few months. And he revealed that he was suffering from multiple myeloma, which is a blood cancer that causes a buildup of abnormal cells in the bone marrow and can cause all kinds of problems. The actor said his cancer was pretty common, but also very fast moving. And after successful treatment, he confirmed he was in remission. All right, now let's talk about Trisha Cast, who plays Nina Webster and the loss of her husband. Young and the Restless actress Trisha Cast lost her husband to cancer in 2019. His name was Bat McGrath, and he was 73 at the time he passed, and he was suffering from colon cancer. He decided not to pursue treatment because he just didn't want to spend his last days dealing with all the medical stuff. And he said, I've had the best, absolute best life and said, I'm totally at peace with the decision. Trisha Cast, who plays Nina Webster, was proud that her husband spent the last year of his life continuing to make music, knowing the end was coming. She said she was super grateful at how he got to spend his last days, but also said that the loss of her husband was really hard, saying, I could not begin to find the words. I'm on the healing path, but it's hard. Now let's talk about Jess Walton, who also lost her husband to cancer. After 40 years together, actress Jess Walton, who plays Jill Abbott, lost her husband, John James, to cancer. Back in 2018, doctors successfully removed a cancerous tumor, but three years later, her husband's cancer came back. Three months before her husband passed away in August of 2021, Jess Walton said, John loved, protected, and supported me, our family, and our country all these years. She said he constantly helped those around him, both at home and all over the world. Jess Walton said she and her, she and their kids took care of her husband at home up until his death, saying to devote ourselves to him and give him love and care and comfort from the people he loves the most was our honor. Even now, Jess Walton mentions her husband, John, frequently in her social media posts, talking about how much she misses him and loves him. Did you know Cameron Grimes' sister also had cancer? So in March 2021, Mariah Copeland actress Cameron Grimes revealed the stunning news that her sister Peyton Grimes was in Children's Hospital Los Angeles and was later diagnosed with lymphoma. 
About nine months later, Peyton was doing much better after treatment. Cameron Grimes said her sister was cancer free. She also said doctors believe her body will eventually absorb what is left of a massive growth she had inside her chest. Peyton Grimes recovered after chemotherapy and celebrated some major post-cancer milestones like growing her hair back and finally getting her driver's license, things like that. Cameron Grimes and her family went to Disneyland together to celebrate her sister Peyton's recovery. Michelle Morgan lost a lot of her family in a tragic fire. So Michelle Morgan, who of course plays Hillary Curtis and later Amanda Sinclair, said almost two years ago that her brother-in-law, Nazir Ali, and his wife, Raven Ali O'Day, and their three children died in an Ontario house fire. Michelle said, my husband's only brother perished with his wife and three kids in a tragic house fire. The blaze sparked at two in the morning. And by the time firefighters got there, there was heavy smoke and flames coming from the building. Another person that was staying with them, uh, a mother-in-law, died some days later from injuries from the fire. Michelle said, my family has been through the unimaginable and yet we stand never forgetting our loved ones, but looking to a future filled with their light and love. And this one you probably know some about, but it's still so tragic. Christoph St. John's death came after his son's suicide. So four years before Christoph St. John passed away, his son, Julian St. John took his own life. What's particularly tragic is that his son was already suicidal and they checked him into a mental health facility because of that. And yet he died while in their care, while they were supposed to have him on suicide watch. Christoph's son was found dead on November 3rd, 2014. His mother, Mia St. John said, our son was the light of our lives, an artist with a beautiful mind and spirit. Christoph St. John spoke out very harshly about the facility because they were supposed to protect his son, that they took him took him there for care specifically for them to make sure he didn't take his life. And he did take his life, and then they didn't notify the family, he says, in a proper amount of time. And when he came to see his son's body, they had already shipped it off to the corner and had thrown all of his personal belongings into toilet paper boxes. This is just awful. Christoph St. John shared pictures of it at the time as he raged about the way his son was treated and what he felt like was neglect in what should have been a safe place for him. Eric Braden said that after Christoph St. John's death, that he knew losing his son weighed most heavily on his heart and soul. Four years later, in February 2019, friends of Christoph St. John came to his house and found him unresponsive in his home. Accidental death due to heart disease was the cause listed for the passing of the 53-year-old 53 53-year-old 53 soap opera star. Melody Thomas Scott shared about her tragic childhood that is absolutely stunning. In 2020, Melody Thomas Scott revealed in her autobiography, Always Young and Restless, My Life on and Off America's Number One Daytime Drama, and she talked about some serious childhood trauma she suffered. The writing process, the actress said, helped her deal with the trauma of physical abuse at the hands of her grandmother, along with a childhood sexual assault that she experienced. She said when starting to write the book, that would include these serious issues. She was struggling with panic and anxiety. And she said that that told her she wasn't ready to put it on paper yet, but she went through years of therapy and medication. She thought she'd healed, but then as she sat down to write, concluded that she had not, but she eventually got it all out and shared it in her memoir. And it is terribly tragic. All right. The last person we're going to talk about is Peter Bergman. He almost went blind a couple of years ago. So Peter Bergman, who of course plays Jack Abbott, was out of town visiting family in 2021 when he noticed something strange going on with his eye. Like part of his vision was really messed up. A day later, his vision kept getting worse. 
a third of the vision in one eye was compromised, it turned out. He said there was a curtain kind of obscuring a third of the vision in his left eye. And his sister recommended an ophthalmologist. And it turns out the Jack Abbott actor had a detached retina. If it had progressed, it could have resulted in blindness in his left eye. So he had to have emergency eye surgery. And that forced him to take a leave of absence from the Young and the Restless because the recovery was quite arduous and uncomfortable. Peter Bergman said he had to keep his face parallel to the floor for 50 minutes out of every hour for seven days. That is a whole lot of lying down and not moving. I mean, clearly it worked and Bergman's eyes seem fine now and he's on Y&R at least until 2027 after inking a new five-year-old deal, a five-year deal not long after his eye incident. All right, that is everything for these real life Young and the Restless stars tragedies. Let me know. Drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon because we are here talking YNR seven days a week. And this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 